Hello and welcome. My name is Brenda if you're new here and today is Saturday, March the 4th of 2023. I haven't done a video since it's the middle of December and then I just kind of got caught up in gaming and stuff because my brother and sister-in-law got us an Xbox. So <laughs> uh, we kind of spent a lot of our free time gaming. Um, but I do have a lot of stitching to show. I, I got back into it. Uh, so I was supposed to go to a retreat in like mid January and then I got COVID. So I was pretty upset about that cause I was excited to go. Um, but so yeah, I missed that. And that was actually, it was about two or three days there that I didn't stitch. And that was the first time I haven't stitched since I started a couple years ago. So, but since then I've been stitching every day as normal. So yeah, I don't think I have anything else to really talk about. It's just, you know, same old type of life stuff. Um, so I will get into what I have been stitching. I have a few starts. I don't have any finishes, but I started on this little set from Doreen Jones. And, oh, and any fabric that is dyed, I dyed except for one piece, and I'll tell you that one. Um, but I started this, uh, it's called Another Year in Cupcakes from Doreen Jones. So there's a cupcake each month. So I have done January and February. So I'll show you what the pattern, the set of pattern, patterns will look like there. And this is January. And I don't know how many stitches I got on each one, but I did 1,366 for both of these. And this is February. So I will be starting March soon, and I just left some fabric there. So I was having fun with those. And then I started on this one. Uh, it's from So Call Stitch. And I, I don't know if she's still on Etsy or not, but that's where I initially got the pattern. Um, and I got 1,115 stitches in on this 18 count Ada. I've been using this one when I go with my mom to her chemo treatments because I decided to go and do all of the outline and so then it was easy just to do some fill in when I got there. And I apparently messed up somewhere around here so it's not quite symmetrical. So I'm debating on if I want to take it out or just leave it but I think I'm just going to leave it. Or maybe add just a little, a couple stitches onto the arm so it looks like it's symmetrical. <laughs> so we'll see but it's cute. I wanted to stitch this um, after watching Wednesday and I know I had this in my stash. I decided to get that one started. Then I have this one which is called Cast a Spell from Mama Witch, Mama Witch Cross Stitch and this is the one that's on fabric that I didn't dye so it's uh, it's a 32 count, which is the first time I've done a 32 count, from uh, Jody from Steel City Stitchers. So the frog started there. I'll show you the what the pattern's going to be over to the side there. So I have really enjoyed stitching on this count. So, and it's just one thread, one over two. Let's see if I can show you. So. That may be one of my my favorites so far. Uh, we'll see. <laughs> uh, yeah, I really enjoyed working on that one. So now back into my whips. And let's see. This is on 25 count, well, easy count, Lugana. And I, this is a stitching shelf from, sorry, I'm kind of out of, <laughs> uh, 
I haven't done this in a while, so I'm a little all over the place, but a stitching shelf from Heaven and Earth Designs, and the artwork is from Amy Stewart. So it's getting so big now that it's a little hard for me to take pictures of the whole thing. Um, and it may be harder for me to show you where I was and where I'm at now. But this is where I'm at. I finished this book. I'm trying to see where I'm looking here. So, yeah. I can't remember if there, I think um, there's another book. And then there's a, a, a big section. I, can't, I think there's another book first. So, that's where I'm at. And I got 2,000... 421 stitches up to the so yeah coming along on that then I have this I think it's a 16 count uh, let's see 16 count Ada and it's Broken Ship from Stitch It Picasso and I just have one color left to do So it's gonna be it. I think it's just, you know, all of this and then filling in there with another blue. So I should have this one finished next time. Then I have Red Rose from Povetrulia Handmade. And this is another one that I'm not sure is on Etsy anymore. Um, but that's where I initially got it. It, it might be. Um, and this is 18 count opalescent Ada. And that's where I'm at right now. And I got, let's see, 1,330 stitches in. And I got more the thread colors in so I'm hoping I'm, I'm trying to fill in from the top down so I, I think what I worked on was mainly this and so I'm trying to correct any mistakes that I had that I was talking about before and then I have the chopping mall from the witchy stitcher and this is on 18 count Ada as well and I got let's see 589 stitches in on this little bottom section here the fountain and I got 1237 stitches in on the frame so I'm trying to fill in there so here's as a whole so I just have a part of that last room left and then it'll just be a bunch of frame to get done it's been a while since I've worked on all of these because I have been focusing on this pattern, which is Roses and Lilies from, uh, I know what the name is. I meant to write it down since I haven't filmed in a while. I've forgotten. I will, I think it's, oh, at Antique Stitch. So I got 8,641 stitches in on this one. And this is, uh, I think it's a 20 count Ada. So as you can see, if you remember, all those pinks and things are new. And I filled in some more of the leaves as well. So I just felt like I've been working on this one for a while and I was feeling like making a lot of progress. So I've just only been working on this for a while. Which is why the 8,000 stitches. <laughs> so I'm excited about where I'm at. I think I'm up to 81% done or so. so it's coming along and I feel good about getting closer to done. I wanna 
bring in something new and get this one to my sister-in-law. Um, so that is all that I have for stitching. Um, as far as what I've been watching, I've had some good movies and a couple shows while we had COVID and we were sitting in, at home and watching stuff. We ended up watching two Indian movies that were really good. Um, I don't know if it's triple R or RRR. I don't know how it's, I guess it's RRR. <laughs> um, it's really action packed. Both of the, both of them are pretty action. Like it's kind of over the top action, like, you know, stuff that can't happen, but it's just entertaining to watch. Um, but RRR and Bahubali, and there's two parts to Bahubali, but I think both of the movies, all three of the movies, part one and two, and RRR is uh, three hours long, so be prepared for that if you decide to watch. Um, but they're really uh, uh, fun, fun to watch. So the other one that we watched was The Woman King, which is set in Africa. I can't remember. I can't remember. It's the 1800s. I don't remember, but it's based on, um, inspired by or based on a true story. So that was good. And we watched The Law According to Lydia Poet, which is inspired or based on, um, I don't know how much of it is true, uh, but it's about the first female lawyer in Italy. And that was really good. It is an adult show, um, but it was really good. Um, and we also watched Lockwood and Co, which is like a, some, a young group of people that hunt down ghosts, I guess you would say. Uh, and that was a TV show and it was good too. And we just started watching Physical 100. So we're kind of, we kind of binged a couple of, few episodes of that. Um, and if you like competition shows and fitness type stuff, um, you might like that. That's all that I have for this week. I thought that I would take a little bit longer to update you all about what I've been up to since it has been so long. But no, I think I just talk really fast and go through it all. And I don't really have a lot to chat about. So I guess that is it. So I will see you next time. I hope you are happy stitching or crafting or just happy with whatever you're getting into. And I will see you next time. So bye for now.